here. It's tough. It's, it's very, very hard. And crucial clues coming to the forefront ahead. How Tulsa investigators are learning more almost 20 years after a teenager disappeared. Welcome back. It is a chilling cold case with no major breaks for nearly 20 years. 16 year old Dina Dean disappeared when she didn't come home from work in West Tulsa. Days later, police found her body in a field. Her parents hoping and praying that a killer would be found. Well, now after only a year in existence, the Tulsa County Sheriff's Office Cold Case Task Force is closer to answers than ever before. Reporter Ashley Holt gives us an inside look into the long investigation only on two. I will not go away. I will not give up and eventually you will get caught. A mother in pain made a chilling promise years ago. That's the old route. One she had no idea a group of perfect strangers would dedicate themselves to keeping. It's an eerie feeling to show up at a place that you've not been to in many, many years. Dr. Josh Turley sifted through the grass and the trees 19 years ago, a day he'll never forget for one reason. Her? You know, when you, when you see a 16-year-old child, you know that that is someone's child, and that is hard. The investigator and his partner found Dina that day. It's tough. It's, it's very, very hard. Today, he agreed to go back with the Sheriff's Cold Case Task Force, a group of retired police officers, sheriff's deputies, and FBI agents who have only been together a year. That driveway was a lot steeper and it was a lot rockier. They say today is a big step on their roadmap to answers. This team has already made progress. We've already discovered some things that hadn't been discovered before. So a much different scene back in 1998. Detectives say the lay of the land has changed a lot in 20 years from the road moving positions to this levee. But one thing they can all agree on is her body was found over there next to a pond alone. She had to get out here on her, on her own pretty much. The fight has to occur up there and right. she runs away from it, not knowing where she's running to. Among a murky pond, knee high in dense woods, Turley shares his theories with the team. He's already yeah, stroked he's her already out there started. and it's, she knows it's bad. Combining an old scene <laughs> with new technology, hopeful it will bring the team now what pen and paper couldn't long ago. If we didn't think we could, if we thought it was unsolvable, we wouldn't be here. See, and that old road used to run pretty much like yeah, this. Yeah, you kind of see it. If we do go to court, this will be presented to a jury. Standing before a jury, a dream for a family that suffered but never wavered. I want my day in court. I want to hear a judge say guilty, and then I'm a happy person. Dina's father grateful for the task force and the chance to give his daughter one last gift. I know she wants answers and uh, we're going to get the answers for her soon, real soon. Ashley Holt, two works for you. And the task force anticipates a resolution to the case within the year. If you have any information about Dina Dean's death, you're asked to call police.